What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again giving you the information that you asked me for. Make sure you hit me up on the ChazEllisProject.com to get free access to the new live stream. It's called 10 Steps to Keeping Your New Year's Resolutions. That's coming out on January the 4th. That's next Sunday or this Sunday. This Sunday. <laughs> no. Make sure you check that out. Anyway, this video is in response to a lot of the comments that I got on a video of the idea called Three Reasons Not to Leave Someone After They Cheat. I do a um, I'll link to this video so you can go ahead and check it out and then you can watch this one. So I'll put a link in there. It'll be in like the description box or something somewhere. And you can check it out. All right, anyway. So a lot of people was like, you shouldn't settle for somebody who cheats on you and yada, yada, yada. And it kind of made me think of something that people talk about all the time, and that's settling. People constantly talk about settling. You shouldn't settle for somebody who's not this. You shouldn't settle for somebody who's not that. And um, and I've, I've noticed that people talk about that all the time. And what I think a lot of people don't realize is we put more, um, we put more on relationships uh, in terms of uh, romantic relationships that we put on any relationship in our lives. But we put the least into it. And what I mean by that is we expect more out of a romantic relationship than we expect out of any other relationship that we have. Our friends, our parents, our parents, our children, our brothers, our sisters, we expect more out of a romantic relationship than we expect out of all of those relationships combined. But yet, we are willing, we are less willing to put time, energy, and effort into those relationships than any other ones. And I mean that, but I'll say it to say this. Um, generally, when you're dating somebody, you're like, okay, I want them to be a, this, they want, I want them to look this way. I want them to talk this way. I want them to be this height. I want them to um, have this kind of job. Blah, 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 blah. We got all these freaking um, criteria that we need for somebody to be in a relationship with, right? We don't do that with our friends. If somebody said, I can't be friends with that person because they're too fat, we'd be like, damn, you are an asshole. If somebody was like, I can't be friends with that person because they're too short. I can't be friends with that person because they're too tall. How would you feel like like what would if you saw that person if somebody saying that what would you think about that person you'd be like wow what an ass you know but when we want to be in a relationship with somebody all of these things are factors what they look like their job um, if somebody said I ain't being friends with that person they're poor we'd be like damn you're an ass right but we wouldn't do that if it was a relationship we'd be like well that makes sense you want somebody with you know certain things going for them. So we expect so much out of that person from the beginning. We have such a, you know, the, the criteria is so high for that person. Um, and then we expect more out of the actual relationship. We don't expect our friends not to have any other friends, do we? Like you wouldn't be mad if you were like, hey, if I catch you with another friend, you can't hang out with me ever again. We ain't cool. I'll beat their ass. Like, that just be weird. You wouldn't do that to a friend. You wouldn't do that to anybody else. Your mom probably has other kids. Uh, your dad probably has other kids. Your brothers and sisters probably have other brothers and sisters. Um, and even if they don't, they have other friends that are close to them. There are other people. Generally, you're sharing relationships with other people. You share your mother with other children normally. Not everybody, but a lot of people do. But we get this in our minds so for some reason that when we're in a relationship with somebody, it's got it's exclusive. We got this high criteria. But at the end of the day, we're willing, we're not willing to invest anything in the relationship. It's like, oh, they made this mistake. I'm out of here. They lost their job. I'm out of here. And then we wonder why we're by ourselves. It's like you abandoned ship at the drop of a hat, and then you wonder why you're in a life raft alone abandon ship you continuously abandon ship that's why because we consider anything settling my mom used to always say love is in spite of not because of that's, that was her favorite thing to say she always says that and 
I didn't really know what she was saying at first, but I understand it. You know, when we look at somebody and we say, I'm with you as long as you're making my life easy for me, as long as you're doing all the right things, then you're not really with them. And you don't really have a valuable relationship. What are you really offering somebody when you're with them as long as they're doing the right thing? Oh, well, <clears throat> I'll leave you over this. Oh, if you call me a bitch, I'm gone. Oh, if, uh, if I find out you had sex with this many dudes, I don't ever want to talk to you again. It's like, then what, what's the relationship? What are you really trying to accomplish here? This is the problem, is that we expect the most out of this particular type of relationship and we give the least to it. We invest the least in it. Everybody teaches us, as soon as something bad happens, you just leave. Bye, deuces. That's what everybody talks about. And that's cool as hell. While you're young, that's cool as hell. While the world is going your way. But what happens as you get older? What happens as things change for you and those pickings become slimmer and slimmer? Eventually, to be with somebody, you're going to have to put up with something. You're going to have to deal with something. You ever talk to a couple? Go talk to some old married people and see some of the stuff that they done brought each other through. And you'd be surprised. People always say, they, they ask me these questions. They'll go, why is it that people cheat now more than they did before? Man, if you talk to your grandma and grandpa, great grandparents for some of y'all, man, a lot of them got outside kids and all kind of stuff. They just stayed together through it. Man, it's, people, it's been... My grandma that helped <clears throat> grandpa through alcoholism. Uh, grandpa that been with grandma through the time when she was on drugs and hoeing. It may not have been that bad, but in some cases it has been. And they done worked their way through it. It's because people generally used to invest in that relationship because you expect the most out of it. It was the relationship with the highest amount of investment. You left everybody else for the person that you were supposed to be married to. At this point now, it's like even when people married, all they are is dating. Because at the end of the day, it's like you're one tragedy away from a breakup. They lose their job. They out of work for a couple of years. It's over. Be real with yourself. Um, she gained a couple hundred pounds. It's over. You're not sticking around. But we expect that loyalty from someone else when we know for a fact that we're not willing to give it. It's like, if you cheat on me, I'm gone. Okay. But if you gain 100 pounds, I'm supposed to stick around? Why? You ain't with me if I'm messing up. Why should I be with you if you're messing up? That's the key. We have to, and, and people will get upset about what I'm saying because they're like, well, that's, you shouldn't settle. You shouldn't do this. Settling is when you can get something better and you take something less. A lot of times, we don't go back out there and get something better. We generally go out there and get something worse. Eventually, we end up with something worse than what we've had over the years because we squander a lot of our youth um, saying, I won't put up with this. I won't put up with that. If this happens, I'm gone. If that happens, I'm gone. I'm not saying if somebody just wronging you all the time that you got to stick around. I'm not saying you ever have to stick around. But I'm just saying that if you got a singular incident in your mind that you'll leave over you're not committed to the relationship. A lot of times we say, well, I stick with my friends because friends last and relationships don't. Yeah, of course relationships don't last because we abandon ship whenever something bad happens. We chuck them to deuces. Bam, I'm out of here. Whenever something bad happens. Of course our friendships last longer. We put more effort into them. So all I'm saying when I talk about, you know, not leaving over cheating or not leaving over this, not leaving over that. What I'm saying is make sure that that's what you really want to do and also understand the fact that if you're with somebody, you're with them. That means that bad things are going to happen along the way. You're going to have to put up with something. And if you're not willing to make that commitment, you have to understand the fact that you're probably going to end up by yourself. That's just the way it is. It's a whole bunch of people out there always talking about, I would never settle for this. And damn near every single one of them are by themselves. It probably will be for the next 10, 15 years. It's easy to say what you wouldn't put up with. It's easy to say what job you wouldn't take when you're unemployed. That's easy. Get the job. 
Let me see somebody who actually has somebody been with him for 20, 30 years and be like, I won't put up with this, I won't put up with this, and I won't put up with this. You know, that'd be a little bit more impressive than somebody talking about, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do that. Well, of course you wouldn't because you don't have anybody. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying it's easy to say what you wouldn't put up with when you don't have anybody. Because if you never think about it, maybe that's the reason why you don't. Because you're just not willing to make those sacrifices. You're not willing to go through it with somebody. It's easy to love somebody when they're doing everything right. But when they do something wrong, can you stick with them? Can you work through it? Can you make it through those rough patches? If you can't do that, no relationship is going to work. Because it's going to always be something. It's going to always be something. Hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Make sure you hit me up on the ChazEllisProject.com. Also hit me up on the Chaz, on the Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. And make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else. Peace.